Hello everyone and welcome back. Now I've been seeing reports for years and years that cheap laser pens aren't necessarily what they say they are. So what I've done here is I've found a pack of three lasers, a red, a green and a blue. Uh, I believe it was under £10 and I just want to see if they are what they claim they are. Now when I bought them all of these lasers were claimed to be one milliwatt. Here is the red laser and on the sticker it will say 650 nanometers and one milliwatt. But is this true or is this sticker fake? And we also have the green and the blue laser saying the same things. And that's kind of worrying because if we look closer at the red and the blue laser, just one second, you'll see that the stickers are identical. The only difference is the color. They both say they're 650 nanometers. So blue is 650 nanometers, that's not right. So I haven't even turned these on yet and something's already suspicious. So the green laser said it's less than one milliwatt. For some reason on the green it's in red and the other ones it's in black. Less than one milliwatt and 650 nanometers blue. No. And 650 nanometers less than one milliwatt for the red laser. Now that seems about right. And the green one seemed about right too. So the red laser itself, it's a laser, it shines and it works. Uh, it takes two AAA batteries and it's the same for all of these lasers because they all look very similar. Switching over to the blue laser, uh, the white background here is actually flattering it. It does the thing that cheap blue lasers do and it disperses in a very weird pattern and it hurts your head to actually look at it. And the green laser, as you would expect, is very bright. So I want to put some distance between the camera and the lasers, which is what I did here. So I moved about four or five meters away. The red laser doesn't have much dispersal. It stays pretty much as a point the whole way, which is good. The blue laser you'll see uh, it stands out a little bit and you can really see on the dark surface up there that it turns into this weird pattern that kind of hurts your head when you try and focus in on it. It's very weird what it does with your eyes, I've never understood these blue, cheap blue lasers. But it has a very weird pattern which starts in the middle and goes out. And the green, as again you'd expect, is very bright and it has a little bit more dispersal than a typical green laser should but that could just be some dust during the manufacturing process. Now let's move over to the laser power meter. This is a 200 milliwatt laser I've measured before in some videos, I think. But it's just showing my laser power meter is calibrated. So it is hitting 201 milliwatt at the moment. And I don't think it goes any higher than that. So my laser power meter is calibrated to the best of my ability. Uh, yes, it's not an optical power meter, but it's still quite reliable. This is a 200 milliwatt and it's showing 200 milliwatt. So let's start with the blue quote one milliwatt end quote laser. Now this is measuring a lot more than one milliwatt actually. This is measuring 25, 26, 27 times, 28 times what it should be. Which is not very reassuring. This blue laser is actually not one milliwatt, it's close to 30. And we have the red quote one milliwatt end quote laser. And what do we get with this? Well, we actually get closer to 50, I believe it was. Yeah, so in fact, we're closer to 60. We're getting there anyway. So it peaks out at 56 milliwatt and then it starts to go back down like most lasers do. Which again, very concerning. Now, most horrifying of all is the green laser. I've accidentally moved it a little bit closer, but it's already above 70 milliwatt. I mean, that, that is horrifying and I'd be willing to bet that this thing is throwing out lots of infrared radiation as well. I mean this is horrifying. This is rated at 1 milliwatt. How is this 1 milliwatt? This is thing is closer to 70 and 80 milliwatt than 1 milliwatt but yet it's being sold as 1 milliwatt. So these reports you're seeing about cheap lasers they are true. Now believe me here I'm as surprised as you. I thought all these news reports were fake and lies but clearly they're not. So to prove the power, I've taken a piece of electrical tape, shine the blue on the right, the red in the middle, and the green on the left, and look at the damage the green has done already. So these were shine on for, I think, five or six seconds I did it for, and the green has made a clear dent, the red has started to, and the blue, well, it isn't really focused enough, but it's still absolutely horrifying that these are being sold as one milliwatt. But I hope you found this video useful and I hope you'll think about your laser purchase a little more carefully so as the cheapest laser may not be the best laser. Thanks for watching everyone.